the entrance antiphon. O chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia. Good morning. Today's Mass is being offered for the full healing of Kelly Long. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord is with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Show benevolence on your church, to your church, that, your, that our present observance may benefit us for eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the following Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. When the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy and with violent abuse could contradict what Paul said. Both Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly and said, it was necessary that the word of God be spoken to you first, but since you reject it and condemn yourselves as unworthy of eternal life, we now turn to the Gentiles. For so the Lord commanded us, I have made you a light to the Gentiles, that you may be an instrument of salvation to the ends of the earth. The Gentiles were delighted when they heard of this and glorified the word of the Lord. All who were destined for eternal life came to believe, and the word of the Lord continued to spread through the whole region. The Jews, however, incited the women of prominence who were worshipers and the leading men of the city stirred up a persecution against Paul and Barnabas and expelled them from their territory. So they shook the dust from their feet in protest to in protest against them and went to Iconium. The disciples were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, all the ends of the earth have seen the serving power, saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm.
The Lord has made his salvation known in the sight of the nations. He has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. says the Lord. said to Jesus, Master, show us the Father and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time and you still do not, do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you I do not speak of my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Or else, believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen I say to you. Whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these because I am going to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Sometimes when you look at the child, of two parents, you can say, wow, you look just like your mother, just like your father. In fact, one of the confirmation students just a couple weeks ago, for the first time, I, I see her many times, but I saw her and I said, I did a double take because she looked just like her mom. In fact, my, my sister, when uh, my grandfather had Alzheimer's, my, my grandfather started calling my sister Denise, my mom's name, because she does, she does look a lot like my mom. And when we see a, a child, they can really remind us or look like the Father. Um, this is kind of what I thought of when I read today's Gospel, because when we see Christ, when we see Jesus, when we know Him, we know the Father. Now it's way higher than a, way on a different level, supernatural level, than a just physical resemblance of a Father and a Son, right? Because Christ is one of the divine trinity. He is the doorway of our lives into the life of God. He reveals to us the love of God. He reveals to us the peace of God. He reveals to us the Father Himself. Not just a resemblance of, but He reveals to us the life of the Father. And, and sometimes in our lives we, we want to see God. We want to see Him working. We want to um, know Him better. Well, Jesus says it to Philip. Philip, if you know me, you know the Father. When we come to know Christ through Scripture, through the Eucharist, through our prayer, spending time with Him, bringing those things that are on our hearts and inviting Him into them, and then God works in that space. 
Also, Christ, Jesus says to Philip, if you don't know the Father, um, look at the works. Look at the works he has done. I think this can be a powerful tool in our lives. We, we want to see how God is acting now. We want to have prayers answered in the ways we think we need them answered. Um, and we say, where is God? He's not acting. But if we look at the works, look at the past works, the things he has done in our lives, the things that he is currently doing, maybe not those things we want answered specifically, but the things that he does, we know the Father by his works. So today, as we come to know Christ in the Word, in the Eucharist, may we uh, always be brought more deeply into that union, that, that Trinitarian union, that we may know Father, Son, and Spirit, that we may be filled with that Spirit to go forth and help others to know Father, Son, and Spirit, help others to celebrate the joy of the resurrection. Trusting in the providence of our Heavenly Father, we offer the following petitions. <coughs> that all who preach the gospel in the name of the Lord may be filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. That the word of God may spread, may continue to spread to the ends of the earth, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. That all who suffer in mind and body may be comforted by God's love for them, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces, and for wherever they may serve, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For an increase in vocation to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate in our archdiocese, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. And for all families on, the, on our Easter board, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Let us now pause to add our own intentions in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Lord God, in trust and confidence, we bring you these prayers and the prayers that words cannot express. But we know you hear and ask them through your divine Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Very brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and Lord may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Gracious, graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let 
us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to allow you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and the integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with passable joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of God. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Amen. 
Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace in you, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. communion antiphon. Father, I wish that where I am, those you gave me may also be with me, that they may see the glory that you gave me. Alleluia.
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Announcement: The Adoration Chapel needs a substitute today at 4 p.m. and tomorrow at noon. Today, 4 p.m., tomorrow at noon. See Dottie Watson in the back of the church after if you're able to help them. Thank you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Say, my Lord, the army, the shining sun, the army, the against the wickedness and the standards of the devil. May God renew you in the army.